The Three Billy Goats Fluff. Trip trap, trip trap. How was he supposed to sleep? Mr. Troll buried his head in his pillow and groaned. He looked back at the newspaper advertisement. Troll Paradise, fine riverside apartment with slimy toads and running beetle juice. Bargain. How could he have fallen for it? What the advertisement had not said was, noisy, underneath the only bridge from the Rocky Mountain to the lush green field. On the mountain next to Mr. Troll's bridge lived the three billy goats fluff. They loved to eat the lush green grass in the field by the bridge. It made their fleeces extra fluffy, important for mother goat's knitting business. The three billy goats fluff crossed the bridge twice a day, but this morning, Mr. Troll had a surprise for them. He'd put up a sign. No trip trapping over my bridge. Trip trappers will be eaten. Little Billy Goat Fluff had not yet learned to read, so he set off as usual. He'd just put one hoof on the bridge when Mr. Troll leaped out. I'm a troll with a very sore head. Stop trip trapping over my bed. When I'm tired and feeling blue, there's nothing quite like Little Goat Stew. Little Goat was very scared and scampered back to Mother Goat. Next came Middle Sized Billy Goat Fluff. His hooves were louder than little billy goats. Mr. Troll leaped out again. I'm a troll in a very bad mood. Waking me up is terribly rude. Middle sized goat makes a lovely roast or tasty pate upon my toast. Middle sized billy goat raced back to big billy goat. They were both too scared to cross the bridge. We're telling our mom on you, they shouted. Mother Goat listened to her billy goats and she thought about Mr. Troll. She knew what it was like to live without sleep. Little Billy Goat woke her up every night. That night, as she sat knitting booties from the finest billy goat fluff, Mother Goat had an idea. The next day, Mr. Troll was waiting for them. I'm a troll who's really cross. It's time to show you I'm the boss. When I'm tired, I need to eat. Goat and fries, my favorite treat. Big Billy Goat trembled as he handed Mr. Troll a present and a note from Mother Goat. If you can hear us trip trap by, then you can make three Billy Goat pie. But if we're quiet as tiny mice, you must stop being grumpy and start being nice. Little Billy Goat Fluff was the first to try out Mother Goat's plan. He shakily put on the hand-knitted booties. They were so fluffy, bright yellow, his favorite color. Slowly, he stepped out onto the bridge. Mr. Troll listened from his bedroom. Nothing? Nothing. Middle-sized Billy Goat Fluff was next. His hooves were quaking as he put on four exceedingly fluffy booties. Pink. Middle-sized Billy Goat was a real softy. Carefully, he stepped out onto the bridge. Mr. Troll had his ear pressed to the roof. He couldn't hear a thing. Finally, it was Big Billy Goat Fluff's turn. His booties had taken most of the night to knit. With four huge pom-poms on his hooves, Big Billy Goat stepped onto the bridge. Mr. Troll strained his ears. Silence at last. How had they done it? Mr. Troll came out from under the bridge. He looked at the three billy goats fluff happily munching the grass in the field. He looked at his present from Mother Goat. Then he opened it. Inside were the fluffiest earmuffs he had ever seen, wrapped inside one of Mother Goat's special blankets. Dear Mr. Troll, we are very sorry for waking you up. We hope this gift helps you have your best sleep ever. Love, Mother Goat, and the three Billy Goats Fluff. That night, Mr. Troll drank a hot mug of beetle juice. 
He read his favorite bedtime story. Then he put on his big fluffy earmuffs and cuddled his soft green blanket. For the first time in his new house, he slept and slept. He dreamed of fluffy clouds, fluffy toads, fluffy beetle juice, and best of all, his new quiet friends. The three Billy Goats Fluff. The end.